Good evening YouTube. I have thought since it's raining, now you can't really see the weather, but it's windy and it's raining, I would do a <coughs> something different. So I thought I'd do a quick helmet review because I bought a helmet and here it is. It's a Scorpion EXO 1000 Air. Is that what it's called? That's probably what it's called. And uh, it's the first new helmet I've bought for a while, so I thought I'd let you know how it is. Because I know Scorpion helmets are quite popular in uh, America, but not so much here. So here we go. They say that its ventilation system is fantastic. I will say this. If you're looking for a helmet with good ventilation, because you've got front vents down there, top vent there, these two vents up here, around the back we have another vent just there. They say the ventilation system is brilliant and I will say that that's not entirely true. The ventilation system is not all it's cracked up to be. Build quality wise of the Scorpion helmets, it's not too bad. These, these things feel a little bit sort of, I don't know, you know how something just feels budget? Those two do, but the rest of it is not bad at all. Fair enough, the visor. The lining is brilliant. I'll tell you what, this has got this funky pump up cheek pads. Uh, let's hold it upside down. Ugh. Can you see that? In here, hang on, my wires in the way. There's this red button. You press that. <laughs> it's like those Nike shoes from the 80s, you know, you pump them up. These cheek pads inflate. So you know, as you're. Um, as you work, you know, you buy a new helmet and as it sort of wears in, it becomes a bit looser. You can always tighten it up. Um, one thing I will say though, the anti-fog visors are brilliant and the pin lock insert that comes with it, I think this is the first sort of um, manufacturer ready for... The first visors that are built ready for the Max Vision pin lock insert, which I think you can see here. You've got the you can see the insert put in there. These do not fog up at all, actually. I'll try to prove this now. Doesn't fog. Let's try a kettle. Well, obviously, fog's on the outside. On the inside, does not fog. There you go. <coughs> Steaming. We'll wait for the kettle to heat up. But yeah, if you're gonna, if you've never actually, if you have um, a pin lock ready visor, and you have problems like me where you're fat and your face ends up very close to the visor, it fogs up. You can get one of the the pin lock anti fog inserts. Are excellent. Wait for that to start steaming. I've got two visors now. I had to get myself one of these gold ones. Mainly because, like I say, I've, I've got a big face. If you imagine what a fat kid looks like when he's stuck between two lift doors, that's what my face looks like in there. So, so I, I wanted to get this one mainly to hide my, my face. <sighs> this is one of them experiments that I should have prepared previously. If I'd heated the water, wouldn't have to wait. Just piss about my lens. Whoa! Ah! Right, I'm just waiting for steam. Steam. There's a bit of steam. Can you see the steam? Probably not. There you go, there is steam going onto the visor. And the bit where the pin lock is, is not steam. If I turn it upside down, see that? You can see that it is steaming. Wipe that off. However, if I let the steam go on the inside, 
Nothing. It's not fogging up. It fogs up where the pin lock insert isn't. It doesn't fog up. How brilliant is that? What better test is there? This visor will not fog up from the inside. Of course, once it really starts going, it does. But under standard use, the visor stays fog free. So there we go. A quick look at this um, rather attractive helmet. Yeah.